My guest today is Karen Meadows with the UNT Health Science Center. We're here to talk about a new uh, project called the Regional Simulation Center that just launched. Uh, Karen, can you give us an overview? Yes, absolutely. So our new center is opening in just a couple of weeks. Uh, we have a simulation center here on campus that we have outgrown and we wanted to use some new technologies and so this new center includes some of the latest and greatest in technology for simulation. We are the first in the state of Texas to have these two virtual reality, fully immersive simulation rooms that do both 2D and 3D uh, simulation. So this is going to enhance the experience for our learners, which includes the students at our, at our center, as well as uh, healthcare professionals within the community. Awesome. And we'll get a brief tour in a second, but tell us about this room. This is the 2D room? Yes, okay. so we're in one of those immersive simulation rooms right now. And so this is the 2D room that we're looking at now. And when you have the headset on, we can change the image so that you're looking at a 3D image okay. and interacting with that as well. So this can create any kind of environment that we want to create. Um, so it might be an OR one day, it might be a, a trauma bay, uh, it might even be an outdoor space thinking about how first responders might train in this facility as well. Okay, let's go check out some of the other rooms here. Yeah, yes. okay. Well, Karen, tell us about the hospital simulation room. Sure, so this is set up to be a room just exactly like what a provider might practice mm -hmm. in a hospital setting. Mm -hmm. So we have a mannequin here in the bed. This mm -hmm. is Hal Jr. Hi, Hal. <laughs> and he has, you know, all the things that you would expect a patient to be able to do. Pulses, he can talk mm -hmm. to you, and inter we can really? interact with him. Um, and so that's what we, we build our simulation cases around you know, the objectives for the students and for the learners, but we can use this technology such as mannequins to enhance that learning and be able to provide things that humans couldn't do. Mm -hmm. um, we can give this a, a murmur or um, problems with breath sounds that we couldn't do with a human being. So um, we're able to use that type of technology. And then all of the other things in the room are things you would find in an acute care hospital setting, IV pumps, uh, crash carts and those kinds of things. So while they're doing this, is there an instructor watching, kind of taking notes? Yes, so. behind this mm -hmm. glass there's a control room mm -hmm. and that's where our operator operates all the technology that's happening in the room and the instructor can evaluate what's happening. We also have a room where uh, some observers can mm -hmm. watch what's happening as well. Okay. Well it's new technology, but how did uh, doctors train before this technology was available? What's the old way of doing it? So they still will have some courses mm -hmm. that are, you know, just um, book learning okay, or okay. that kind of thing. But this is really that bridge that takes the, the book learning mm -hmm. and connects it with the clinical practice setting. So the nice thing about that is we're able to protect patients. Mm -hmm. They can make mistakes in here and it's mm -hmm. a safe spot to do that and they can learn from those mistakes. Mm -hmm. Where if they're in a clinical practice setting, we have to stop them from making a mistake. Um, and so that's the difference, and that's why this is a great learning space okay. before they go to clinics. Okay, very cool. Yeah. All right, Karen, tell us about this exam room. This is just like at a clinic that you might go to uh, at any doctor's office. And our students will come into a space like this and interview. Sometimes it's an actor instead mm -hmm. of a mannequin in this space, but they learn how to take a health history and, and how to come up with a differential diagnosis, a diagnosis mm -hmm. for the patient. And they'll even do work on things like documentation, assessment skills, mm -hmm. physical exam skills, those kinds of things. Okay, cool. Thanks for your time. This is a really exciting project. It's the first uh, project of its kind in Texas, um, as we've learned. Um, thanks for bringing this to Fort Worth and encourage you know, folks to, to follow everything that's going on at UT Health Science Center. Absolutely, yes. This is um, indeed one of the first of its mm -hmm. kind and we are uh, available for not just our students here on our campus but for the healthcare community at large mm -hmm. as well. So that's why mm -hmm. we're called the mm -hmm. HSC Regional Sim mm -hmm. Simulation Center and we're looking forward to providing that service here awesome. in this area. Oh, cool. Thanks for what you do. Mm -hmm. Thank you.